Hi guys, it's Ruthie and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Prismacolor Premier Markers. These are alcohol based markers. Um, they have a brush nib and a bullet nib and I will show you guys those in one second. Um, these are more of the higher quality um, alcohol based markers. Um, I think they might rank pretty close to Copics, I'm not quite sure but I think that's if they're pretty close. Um, the so we have the bullet nib or the brush tip right there and then we have the bullet nib we have a round black barrel and little things on the side to keep it from rolling which i think do a pretty good job on the tops of the markers we have the color number and the color swatch on the sticker um, another thing I want to point out about the barrel is that they have these little indicators to indicate what, um, what nib you're using. So for the bullet nib, they have this straight line. Then for the brush, they have this like brush kind of wavy line. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, on, so on the back side of the barrel, we have the warm, the color name, warm gray 60%. Not quite what sure, not quite sure what the sixty percent um means, but yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought this one individually. Um, and so Kevin will pop up how much they were. Um, in just a second. Um, so yeah, I bought this one to color. I was just getting into Pachine, and I started. So I grabbed this one to try out some alcohol based markers because I had seen many videos on YouTube about Copic markers and so I actually looked up Copic markers and they are very expensive. Um, these are maybe a little cheaper like tiny tiny bit <laughs> so I just bought the one to try it out and this was my, like my first alcohol based marker. Um, I, may, I'm, I don't know I don't know if I would suggest starting out with this you know for I think if you were to start out with one I would go for something a lot cheaper um, I started so I got this one and another marker I'll do a review on um, at Michaels but um, so I bought this one and another one um, for Pachine and they were great I really liked them but I was still very new to them and I had only bought two colors so I couldn't really use them very much um, so I just kept researching, um, and I ended up coming across a hoo hoo markers, which I have now, and I do have a um, review on that, so I'll link that in the info box below. But yeah, so these um, are really nice. I really like them. Um, I colored part of this with them. I colored this this for. As you can see, it was very streaky. Um, I don't know if that was me or it was the marker or the paper. I'm not sure. It could have been all all of them. Um, so, and then I also did the window lines of that. I really like this drawing. <laughs> um, I like how her figure turned out. I'm not very good at drawing people, so you can see her head is torn that way, so I didn't have to draw her, um, her face and her hands for there. She is wearing socks, so yeah. Um, so some areas it is pretty smooth, um, so yeah, but it looks, but it's pretty streaky and everything. So I'm gonna get this little piece of paper and I'm going to show you guys how it writes. It goes on like when you're coloring with it, it goes very smooth. Like I can barely hear it going onto the page, but it's really nice. Um, still it's kind of streaky. Again, I don't know if that's me, but if I'm coloring like this, I mean it's not so streaky. I can see it a little bit, but you know. So there, it's actually smoothing, um, smoothing it out, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, smoothing out uh, whenever it, whenever it dries, and here's the bullet nib. I think the bullet nib is very nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think these are great. I um, wouldn't recommend these if you're more of a professional um, with alcohol markers. Um, but if you're more of a beginner, I definitely recommend going with something cheaper. Um, but yeah, I really like how these turned out. I really like these markers. Um, I think they're very nice and would recommend them to um, more professionals um, and uh, more experienced um, color 
um, like color, <laughs> more experienced artist. I cannot talk today. Okay, guys, that is it for the video. If you enjoyed, please um, hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. That would that would be so awesome. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, bye.